Coming up, Jonathan and Todd explore a super small cave. It's a claustrophobic nightmare. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. It's a beautiful day on Merritt's Mill Pond. Located in Mariana, Florida, just west of Tallahassee, this small man-made lake contains entrances to seven different caves. Today, cameraman Todd, Zach of all trades, and I are looking for one of the smallest caves on the pond. We rented a pontoon boat to explore as many of the caves as we can manage in our short visit. We head north from our rental house in search of Shangri-La Cave. It's easy to find because of the crystal clear water surrounding the entrance. We pull our boat gently into the shallow water near shore. There's a small metal post to tie off the boat. I'm gonna lasso a little more. on. Next to us, clear water flows strongly from this spring. It's the kind of inviting water that cave divers crave. We got some pointers from local instructor Mehdi Zanetti, so we know this is going to be a very tight cave, which sounds fun. With this in mind, we suit up for some adventure. Have a quick peek inside so we can figure out our plan. We have a short chat and decide to bring only GoPro cameras because our regular cameras are too big for this cave. The main line, but I couldn't see where the main line really began. At last, we begin the dive with Todd leading the way. If you think the entrance looks small, you haven't seen anything yet. We fight our way in against the flow and discover it's a pretty spacious cavern zone. only a single video light to keep the GoPro rig small. I follow Todd into the cave while he ties off our reel. Heading further into the cave, we quickly arrive at a tiny restriction going down into the floor. And that's the only way to proceed, so Todd pushes on down. It's a tighter squeeze than it looks. Once I get down in there, I can see the line, but there doesn't appear to be an easy way to follow it. The ceiling and floor are so close together, I'm wondering if I'll even fit.
From behind Todd, I can see the problem. Man, this is one tiny cave. Todd picks the biggest opening and starts heading that way. There's literally just enough room to squirm through. Up ahead, Todd follows the main line. We expected the cave to open up once we got through the first restriction, and it has, but not very much. I'm hanging back far enough that if we need to turn around, we won't be kicking each other too much. Thankfully, the floor of the cave is not super silty, and the silt we do manage to kick up is being washed away quickly in the flow of water. Todd continues his slow progression upstream into the cave. I have it a little easier because I'm following, but I have worse visibility being downstream. Someone has laid line in here, so we know people can fit. But many had said that in order to go further, you'd have to remove both tanks. And it looks like we've reached that point. Because I'm behind, I do a very clumsy turnaround and begin leading the way out. I'm turning around as well, but there isn't much space. Soon we're both turned around and heading out. Last, we claw our way back to the hole in the floor and emerge back into the cavern. As much as we enjoyed that little adventure, I think we're both glad to be back into a space large enough to swim. In five minutes, all the silt we kicked up will be totally gone. It's time to head back to the light. Since we never exceeded 25 feet, 
we don't even have to do a safety stop. That restriction at the end where I turned, I don't think I could fit through yeah. without taking a tank off. So I went as far you as know, I could. It, it looked bigger inside than it was. And even as I went further, as far as I could see into that next area, it was the same low ceiling and mud. But, uh, you know, I tried that second time trying to get through. And it's like, it's just like I have to take a tank off. It's just not quite wide enough. Yeah. Or I got to stop eating the pizza. Yeah, one or the other. <laughs> Shangri-La is one of the smallest caves in Merritt's Mill Pond. It's not deep, and it doesn't go very far. But it's an incredible dive for adventurous side-mount cave divers. Meanwhile, we have many other caves to explore in this extraordinary pond. And the Blue World. Hey, everyone. Have you subscribed to our extras channel, Blue World Plus? It's full of great behind the scenes and additional fun content. Check it out now.